The next chapter of our around the world drive is beginning. After handing our van treaty to the shipping agent, we jumped on a plane to Kolkata. I literally feel like I've woken up in another planet. This Indian megacity is the fifth most densely populated city in the world, and I have no doubts that exploring the city whilst we wait for Trudy our van is going to be quite an eye-opener. It's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. Henry David Thoreau. Good morning. Welcome to Kolkata here in India. I can't believe we're actually saying that. But today, while we're waiting for Trudy, we thought we would jump in a taxi, head into the city center, and try and get a feel for this uh, country and city. So we're gonna take you on a bit of a raw walking experience um, and discover it with us. Okay, Marianne's just ordering an Uber um, to take us into the city, which is a really easy way to get around here. I <laughs> just smacked a mosquito on Marianne's leg. Look at the size of that. that That's is, like an Alaskan that one. That is an Alaskan bird that's emigrated to India. <laughs> Hotel security's just talking to the Uber driver because he got lost. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Good morning. So let's see what uh, the city's like driving at eight o'clock in the morning. Give you a bit of an idea for Trudy, Marianne. Yeah, there's a lot of horning. It's like mobile Morse code. <laughs> Interesting driving, that's for sure. Welcome to downtown Kolkata. Sweetheart. <laughs> I've got some market stalls. Huh? Selfie. selfie. Uh, gee, okay. What oh, is? Okay. <laughs> We're having a selfie already. <laughs> We're a tourist attraction. Marianne's become a tourist attraction. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit of a overwhelming start of a uh, start of a start of the day. We literally just jumped straight out of the grab and just got completely uh, surrounded by people wanting photos. But this is uh, downtown Kolkata, and uh, the starting point. There's actually uh, a bridge um, down here that we're going to go and have a look at, and we're just going to take you around the city, just have a walk, and uh, just try and share what life is like in here, Col in here Kolkata. It's a bit mad already. Look at all this artwork all the way along the wall. And the, the buses, the buses are all uh, really pimped up and uh, coloured. They're a bit like the Central American buses. Local barber. <laughs> Good. He's having a shave. You should have a shave. <laughs> there are all these amazing flowers. There is actually a flower market near here. Wow, it's beautiful. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Roses. Yeah, all the way on the walk down towards this bridge. There's loads of stands, loads of flower stands, loads of uh, fruit stands. It's uh, it's really quite chaotic, but um, yeah, a good uh, introduction to life here in Kolkata. 
Some fresh lines. It's a real skill the way they uh, carry things on their heads. It's very cool. So this is uh, one of the famous bridges here in Kolkata. That's really quite an impressive structure, isn't it? That is the flower market here. What a crazy place. So that is uh, one of India's largest flower markets. We're actually here a little bit late. Really got to get here really early in the morning to see it in its full glory. Welcome to Kolkata. I'm, I'm literally going to have a sneezing fit. can smell pollen as soon as you uh, as soon as you come down here if you are a hay fever sufferer this is not the place for you <laughs> lovely smelling flowers a bit different to your Covent Garden market, love it. Oh, terrible. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks from upstairs. It's massive. These all these little rose heads here. Wow. This place is massive. Sorry. I'm getting bunched to somebody with something big on their head. <laughs> These are all the flowers for people who have allergies. Yeah. But this is where the smell is happening. I mean, if it's quiet now, you can imagine what it would be like at five or six o'clock in the morning, which they say is the busiest time to come. I don't think you'd move because it feels pretty busy now, to be fair. It's got the tea, coffee, morning coffee going on there. They're painstakingly trimming each rose head. You can imagine how long that takes to do so many. I reckon we should go this way because that looks the quietest way. It should come out the other end, I hope. We've come out of the other side of the flower market now and uh, we're gonna have a little wander back to the main road and then uh, to see what else we can find down the uh, down the side streets. That was a bit of a mad experience, wasn't it? Yeah, there was a lot going on. So if it's your first time, like it was ours, I would uh, take a minute, watch out for the truck. For the truck thing. Morning. Looks like a uh, a tour group from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can get uh, tours of these places, but you know us, we like to just wander around and uh, just have the freedom to experience it for yourself. Tours are great if you want uh, lots of information on a place uh, from the tour guide with a local, or if, uh, if you're feeling a bit nervous, it's also good to go with a tour. That's a beautiful looking Indian temple there, look. Okay, we need to try and cross the road. And apparently, you just go for it. Okay. But I, I'm not sure that's the case. <laughs> Let's go for it. We didn't try! We didn't try! <laughs> oh, it smells lovely. Yeah, what is that? 
it's like yeah they got sugar cane it's to sell that into drinks chickpeas hello hello you okay hello <laughs> what? Huh? Oh, same beard. Same. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very nice beard. It's good. <laughs> good job, me. Good job. Good job. Oh, what's he selling? What is this? Color, color, color. Oh, color for holy, for Monday. Throw. Ah, thank you very much. It's okay, it's okay. I know, it's okay. I'm, I'm not going to use. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you very much. He wants to give it to you. No, I'm allergic. He wants to shake your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. He's trying to. He's... <laughs> I nearly died. <laughs> we were actually warned that the colors that we buy on the street might cause an allergic reaction. Because some of them are mixed with lots of chemicals, so I'm not going there. They got water all the way down on all the streets, so uh, people use it for washing and washing their clothes. I've seen people drinking. Okay. How are you? <laughs> so it's a nice fruit. Look how they set the fruit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, love. <laughs> this is very strong. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness, what are they carrying? It's gone a lot quieter, isn't it? Yeah, there's no cars. There's no cars down these roads. It feels. Yeah, they're trucks. It just seems Okay, I lied. It's very <laughs> <laughs> Must have piled up high, innit? Yeah. So these are the roads we don't want to accidentally turn down when we get Trudy. I'm not coming down this road. We're walking down the tram line. It's so busy. Oh yeah, it looks like kind of fade, isn't it? So yeah, we've come down into another market area now, the bazaar area. Oh, watch out, he's carrying. He's very strong carrying all those oranges. Wow, it just goes on and on and on, doesn't it? We've got like a bread store. All the side streets and markets as well. I think it's the whole area of this of the city is market stores. They buy everything. Funny, you can hear the birds of prey above us. Yeah, they're looking for the pigeons. Okay, so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to go and try and get some lunch, and we found a place that was recommended famous for his biryani it's a restaurant uh, just a short five ten minute uh, uber away okay he's coming it's that one there you go jump in okay if you're asking about the Uber, it's great because you don't need, need to negotiate prices. And also, if you live through the traffic, I always tip. <laughs> so thank you to all the taxi drivers that have held us and made us live. There you go. So this is where we're going to go for lunch today. Try some famous biryani. <laughs> It's going to be interesting to see how a biryani here in Kolkata and a curry is different to a biryani back home in the UK because we eat a lot of curry back home in the UK. Biryani is Marianne's favourite. Yes it is. So let's see. Oh wow. Huge. Thank you very much. 
Wow, look at that. That's pretty. We got dal and the garlic naan. That is only one portion. Oh my goodness. It's massive. I did say it's running <laughs> up, and he looked at me and laughed. And now I know why. But why have we chosen this restaurant, Christopher? I chose this because it's got like 7,000 reviews on Google and uh, the food looks absolutely amazing. The smell from that garlic. So good. <laughs> Chicken biryani is huge. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I need bigger clothes. Here. Okay, so I think the first tip is don't over order. But it looks amazing. So we got biryani. The rice is rice is cooked to perfection. Mm. Really good. Even the rice is oily and flavoursome and really, really delicious. And the uh, the dal dal always tastes different every time we have it. Mm. Absolutely love it. Back home, a biryani is served normally with like a veg curry on the side. This is quite quite dry, but the chicken and everything is just so so flavoursome. I was about to say, I actually prefer this to an English biryani because it's not it's not dry. I'm not finding it dry. The, the rice is really moist and flavoursome, and loads of like spices to it. There's a bit of a kick. Yeah, you don't need a curry with it. You don't need a curry with it, it's perfect. <laughs> I have never eaten a naan bread that is so fluffy. It's like, so fluffy. It actually tastes so good, you don't need any curry with it. <laughs> I wonder what makes it so fluffy. Okay, after that wonderful lunch, which I have to say, was the best biryani and dal I've ever had in my life. We've made it back to the hotel. We're in one piece. We made it. We might have to go and lie down in a dark room now. <laughs> so but yeah. It was, it was a great day. It's going to be very interesting to see what it's like driving Trudy across India. I don't want to think about it just yet. <laughs> so make sure you join us next time because you're not going to want to miss this one.